StadiumDB.com presents NFL Stadiums Then vs. Now Welcome to a video in which we will look at the changes that accompany the NFL in terms of stadiums. Have the facilities changed for the better? Do newly built stadiums no longer have charm? See 10 stadiums that have been upgraded or replaced. Among them are some of the most expensive and largest venues in the world. Washington Commanders Stadium before 1997 and now. RFK was one of the first major stadiums designed to host both baseball and football. Demolition of the surrounding area began in 2023. However, demolition of the stadium itself has not begun as of 2024 as planned. From 2004 until 2010, Commander's Field had the NFL's largest seating capacity, over 91,000. Initially, the waiting list for the season tickets was reportedly more than 160,000 names long. Afterwards, the stadium was no longer the largest in the NFL. The Washington Redskins club decided to remove 10,000 seats, even though it had thousands of fans on a waiting list for tickets. Hard Rock Stadium before 2015 and now Miami Dolphins The construction of an American football stadium in Miami was the initiative of Miami Dolphins founder Joe Robbie. After years of playing at the Orange Bowl downtown, the club moved north. Here, surrounded by huge car parks, a stadium with two levels of seating for 75,000 spectators was erected in 1987. In 2015, the first phase of redevelopment took place, with the upper stands losing their corners and the lower section of the auditorium rebuilt to move spectators along the field closer to the players. After the NFL season ended, the heavy machinery entered again, erecting an impressive roof in 2016. Its structure is independent of the rest of the stadium, supported by eight huge pillars. Cincinnati Bengals Stadium before 2000 and now The former Riverfront Stadium in Cincinnati opened in 1970 and the facility has hosted games for NFL teams, the Bengals, as well as MLB teams, the Reds among others. The arena, which had only been in existence for 20-odd years, did not live up to the team's expectations. The decision was taken to build two new arenas. The first was the football stadium. Its construction began in the spring of 1998, and by the summer of 2000 it was ready to open. At the time, it was one of the most modern in the world. It could also impress aesthetically. Everbank Stadium before 2014 and now Jacksonville Jaguars Everbank Stadium opened in 1995, becoming home to the new NFL team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. The facility was built to replace the former 1927 Gator Ball Stadium and even retained the upper sections of the old stadium's west stand. Since the opening of the new stadium, it has been upgraded several times, but these have not been significant improvements. The biggest visual changes came in 2014, when a platform was created in the north stand and the stadium received two new giant screens. Now there are plans for a major renovation, including a full roofing of the facility. San Francisco's 49ers Stadium before 2014 and now The San Francisco 49ers played at the Candlestick Stadium, located in San Francisco, until 2013. The stadium had a hybrid layout, allowing for football and baseball games. 49ers played their last game at Candlestick Park on December 23, 2013. The construction of Levi's Stadium was worth $1.27 billion, mostly covered by the city, and was built in just 819 days thanks to simple construction using prefabricated elements. The high costs were dictated, among other things, by the extensive facilities, but also by the use of eco-friendly solutions. Imagine a world where new stadium videos await you every week. Subscribe to our channel and that dream will come true. Tennessee Titans Stadium before 1999 and now. The Tennessee Titans team originated in Houston 
where it was founded as the Houston Oilers in 1959-1960. From 1968, the team played at the Astrodome, the world's first fully covered multi-purpose stadium. At the end of the 20th century, however, the decision was made to move to the state of Tennessee. Nissan Stadium has not changed significantly since its opening, as the biggest changes took place in 2012 when, among other things, new screens were installed. Atlanta Falcons Stadium before 2017 and now. In 1992, the new fully covered Georgia Dome opened in downtown Atlanta and the Atlanta Falcons moved in. Built at a cost of $214 million, the Georgia Dome became the largest and closed sports facility in the world when it opened. The design for the new stadium was called the Pantheon. The dome loosely follows the Roman original in function, with the world's first roof consisting of eight panels and acting as a camera shutter. The octagonal dome is one of a kind structure in the world, using 27,500 tons of steel. That is hard to imagine. Denver Broncos Stadium before 2001 and now. The old Mile High Stadium, completed in 1948, featured a huge sliding stand that allowed conversion from a baseball stadium to a football stadium. It originally had 17,000 seats. Its capacity was increased from time to time through extensions to the facility until it reached 76,273 seats in 1986. The plan for a new American football stadium was conceived in Denver in the late 20th century when the previous Mile High Stadium was deemed commercially obsolete. In August 1999, work began on a new stadium next to the previous one. The capacity was to be almost identical, but the facilities completely transformed. Dallas Cowboys Stadium before 2009 and now. In 1971, the team moved out to the suburbs to Irving, where the new Texas Stadium was built. The facility was equipped with skyboxes and a distinctive roof and had a capacity of over 65,000 spectators. It underwent a controlled demolition in 2010. Construction of AT&T Stadium was fraught with challenges, as the project included many advanced and even groundbreaking and record-breaking features. In the end, the cost of the project rose from the original $650 million to $1.15 billion, putting the stadium among the most expensive in the world. All debts incurred for the construction are expected to be repaid by 2034. New York Jets and New York Giants Stadium before 2010 and now. The old stadium's maximum seating capacity was 80,242. The sharing of the stadium by both the Giants and Jets enabled it to break a record that had long been held by Chicago's Wrigley Field. Entering the 2003 season, its 28th, Giants Stadium had played host to 364 NFL games. MetLife Stadium stood adjacent to the 30-year-old Giants Stadium, which was demolished when the new facility opened. Construction took two and a half years and resulted in the largest NFL stadium and also the most expensive in history. However, Giants and Jets fans call MetLife Stadium an overpriced lunchbox. In the stadium that has been selected to host the 2026 World Cup Finals, we conclude our NFL adventure so far. Write in the comments if you would like to see another part of this video. See you in the other materials.